Welcome back to my channel. I'm Joe with Smoking Joe's Pit Barbecue. On today's video, I'm gonna be making one of my favorite party appetizers, bacon wrapped salmon. You won't wanna miss this. Stay tuned. All right, let's get started on the bacon wrapped salmon. I do have four beautiful fillets. Now these fillets did come from Global Seafoods North America. Check them out inside the description box. I gotta tell you, this is some of the freshest seafood that you can ever buy, okay? So I'm just gonna move these three fillets out of the way. So this salmon is still partially frozen and the reason I do that is because obviously I'm filming a video and it takes a little bit longer, but I'm also gonna be removing the skin and I wanna show you guys this process. So this is a nice little fillet right here and what you wanna do is you wanna find the thinnest part of the fillet. For example, on this one, it would be right here, okay? So we wanna start with this one right here. So the thinnest part of the fillet, just cut down into the skin and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn my knife slightly and then just cut the skin off of the salmon. Okay, so here we go down to the skin, turn your knife slightly. So you wanna lift as you're cutting and make sure you're not leaving too much meat on the skin, okay? So what I'm doing is I'm holding this skin right here and I'm pulling the knife and just kind of gliding it. Now this is easily gonna remove the skin. Now as, as you get closer to the end, you do wanna grab it somewhere around right here and continue to slice, just like that. Let's see how we did. Beautiful. So if you're gonna pan fry this, obviously you can do this with the skin on, but I just want the salmon itself without the skin, okay? So here's another filet, okay? Again, find the thinnest part of the filet and just cut down, turn your knife slightly down to the skin and slowly glide your knife across the filet. And it helps starting with a nice sharp knife. I am using my Dale Strong filet knife which makes it super easy to do, and there you go, okay? So I'm gonna take the skin off of these other two fillets, and I'll bring you guys right back. All right, so I've got the skin removed from the salmon fillets, and the next step is to cut these into squares, okay? I want about an inch and a half by inch and a half inch square, so I'm just gonna start right here. Just like that, okay? And this one, I'm gonna cut it in half, and this is what you want right here, okay? This one and a half by one and a half inch square. So just cut these in half. And also this one in half, okay? So just continue to cut these into squares. All right, so I've got these salmon cut into squares and some are bigger than the others and that's okay, there's nothing wrong with that. So the seasoning that I am gonna be using is from Suckle Busters. This is their Bam Abanero barbecue rub, and I gotta tell you, this is spicy, so be easy on your salmon bites. Unless you like it spicy like me, then you can add a little bit more. But this is really good, fantastic on chicken wings as well. Okay, so just dust these salmon fillets. All right, so I've got my salmon bites all seasoned up. I'm gonna grab a slice of bacon. I am using the regular sliced bacon, I'm not using thick cut bacon, so just lay it on your cutting board. Grab your salmon cube here, and just roll it really nice and tight around your salmon, okay? Nice and tight. So if you're gonna be smoking these, you can put a toothpick on them. I'm actually gonna be cooking these on my El Charro rotisserie grill, so I'm gonna be sliding the skewer through the entire salmon bite, along with the bacon, okay? Let's wrap up one more. Let's grab another nugget right here and start to wrap it. You can roll it or lift up your bacon, whatever is easier for you. Wrap it nice and tight. Just like that, okay? I'm gonna continue wrapping these up and I'll bring you guys right back. All right, so I've got my salmon all wrapped up in bacon. I gotta tell you, this bacon is the thinnest I have ever seen in my life. Made it a little difficult to wrap these salmon bites. So I've got my skewers right here from my El Charro. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna stab it right in the middle and pass it all the way through the other side. I'm only gonna put about three or four on each skewer, okay? Show you a couple more. Try to stab it right in the middle of that salmon. Just like this. And one more. Just 
like that. Okay, I'm gonna get the rest of these done and we'll be right back. All right, so I've got these salmon wrapped bacon all on the skewers. Just gonna give them a dusting of this habanero seasoning from Suckle Busters, the BAM habanero seasoning. Just a light dusting on both sides. Just like that. Let's go outside and fire up my El Charo. Stay tuned. All right, I'm outside of my El Charo, and I went ahead and filled up the charcoal tray right here full of B&B charcoal. I am using some B&B lump charcoal. I am gonna be using my grill gun to light this charcoal, okay? So here we go. All right, so that only took about a minute and a half, and this charcoal is lit. So I'm gonna slide my tray in. Close my door here, lock it in. I'm gonna let this charcoal ash over, and I'll bring you guys right back. All right, my B&B charcoal is ashed over. Now I did put my bacon wrapped salmon bites in the fridge to stay nice and cold. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my skewers in, starting with this top shelf. Just put that in there like that. Now you do get two controllers with the El Charo, and you can control the speed from really slow, like I do have them right now, to pretty fast. Okay, depending on what you're cooking. I'm gonna turn these really nice and slow and just spread them out, just like this. And the nice thing, as your food starts to cook, you can actually move the skewers around. For example, if these bottom ones start cooking too fast, I can move them to the top and move the top to the bottom. Okay? So just like that, there's our last one. I got six skewers. So I'm gonna let these cook up for a little bit and I'll bring you guys right back. All right, so my bacon wrapped salmon bites have been going for about 15, 20 minutes now and the fat is starting to melt off of that bacon, causing it to drip on the coals and flame back up. And I gotta tell you, that's nothing but flavor. So I'm gonna let these crisp up for another 20 minutes and I'll bring you guys right back. All right, so these salmon bites have been rotating for about 40 minutes now and they are getting nice and crispy. I'm actually gonna pull one off and show you guys that real quick. Look at that, bacon looks nice and crispy. So I'm gonna glaze these with Texas pepper jelly. Now this one right here, it did fall off earlier, but that's okay, I'm still gonna eat it. So I've got my salmon bites right there, and I've got my Texas pepper jelly. This is the peach mango habanero. So I'm just gonna glaze these up, just like that. Oh man, these smell amazing. So we do have a little bit of heat with that Suckle Busters habanero seasoning, and this has a little bit of sweet and a little bit of heat. So I gotta tell you, both of these combined are gonna pair really well, just like that. And put it back on my El Charo, just like that. I'm gonna get these other ones done, and I'll bring you guys right back as soon as I pull them off. Stay tuned. All right guys, so the total cook time has been one hour and I've got the color on the bacon that I want, so I'm just gonna pull them off. We'll see you guys inside and give these a taste. Stay tuned. All right, the bacon wrapped salmon is ready and look at the sticky, ooey goodness. Nice, crispy bacon. Let's give it a taste. Stay tuned. All right, let's give our bacon wrapped salmon a try and see how we did. I'm just gonna pop the entire thing in my mouth. Here we go. Holy smokes, that is delicious, guys. You have got to give this a try. If you don't have an El Charo, I mean, you can try smoking it, but I don't think it'll be as good as doing it on the El Charo. These are fantastic. So this Suckle Busters Bam Seasoning, get yourself some. Get yourself some of that Texas pepper jelly, make yourself some bacon wrapped salmon, and kick up your party. You know, with Super Bowl being right around the corner, I highly recommend that you kick up your Super Bowl appetizers with these bacon wrapped salmon bites. If this is your first time here, hit that subscribe button. If you have any questions, leave them down below. Until next time, Joe with Smoking Joe's Pit Barbecue. See ya.